finally climb Mount Takao after being here almost four months. Should be fun. Hopefully I don't die. Stay tuned for that. Oh, it's so pretty here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Currently on trail one, but on my way to the monkey park. Thankfully, I got plenty of time to get there. Not far from the monkey path, time for a family reunion. Seeing my siblings again is going to be weird. Oh. Okay. This is it up here. So much. Fifteen more minutes to the top, apparently. I guess it depends on how fast you walk. I think I'm almost there. Doesn't help my glasses are fogging up because of the mask. <laughs> Oh, 
wonder if I can see now what can we do from here. Oh, probably not. Not in my life. I actually have to recognize it too, to be honest. That fog is so pretty. So I'm pretty sure that's Fuji. So suck it, Chris. Got it first try. So I just came from there. I need to go to Taff House and Gucci. This also takes me to another mountain. So I guess I'm going this way. and got work tomorrow but yeah, thankfully being a Sunday it's going to be slow but I, can but I think in the almost four months since I've been here I've not been to an onsen or a public bath or anything so it'll be nice to go back to one again after two years I was in Sakata for a week, staying at a Ryokan, so I figured make use of the onsen they had and just chill in that basically every day for an hour or two, sometimes twice a day. I mean, with all the walking I did back then, definitely needed it. Stay up there for the sunset, but considering uh, the lack of lights and stuff, and it'll get dark real fast because it's autumn, it's probably not a good idea. Of course, there's more stairs going up. Hey, an observatory sounds fun. I think the only thing on my to-do list on this little track that I haven't yet is the onsen. But considering I'm doing the furnace observatory that I didn't know it was a thing either, I'd say that's a win. Oh god, these fucking steps again. These wooden things stick out centimeters half the time so it's just it's just a trip hazard I guess probably from the rain washing the dirt away but fucking hell oh but this this is this is what I wanted oh that earthy wooden smell beautiful it's there oh god the snakes mate I uh oh man I don't 
nothing about the snakes in Japan. So, yeah, may or may not be fucked. A bench would be nice. Something to sit on. I feel like someone's behind me. I could hear footsteps, but there's one thing I've learned from horror movies and stuff. Don't look behind you. Because that's when they get you. Just a water bottle in my bag, honestly. I want to go to the observatory to observe whatever I can observe from it. If this is the observatory, just go back. Is this the observatory? Ah, oh, it can't be. I can't observe shit from here. God, this smells amazing. If you've been hiking and stuff before in moist forests and stuff, You'll know the smell I'm talking about. So I would not recommend doing this in jeans. Should have worn my sweatpants, but pockets aren't that good in those. my arm, not my feet or my legs. I didn't even use my arm for anything either. In hindsight, I probably should have thought to or just go on the normal path, but I do I'll be fine. Worst case, my phone has a flashlight. I could break, but eh, I don't really need anything right now. Honestly, I guess a good result for my visa extension, maybe. I guess steam and water is that the other Maybe. 
there's also that illusion museum that I wanted to go and check out. That's also a case of uh, I don't know if it cost or anything. Yeah, it sounds like it's the inside. Oh man, I'm so excited. And just Oh, it's so good. It's too bright. Oh, yeah, it's close to what it is. I wish it would just keep the actual brightness. It's probably a setting for it, I don't know, but it's not me. Oh. and has it gone up in price since the article I read that mentioned it was posted roughly very funny I mean, for The onsen, not that I successfully made it down, but I didn't even die. Surprisingly, did fall over and injure my knee, but other than that, bloody good day. Great views, saw them out for you. Onsen was exactly as expensive as I thought it was, but it was great. Open air baths, a couple of different kinds. What was there? Carbonated, cedar, a themed one which was blue. There was a hot one, normal one, a cold one, which was like 17 degrees. That was not fun. It was like these stone chair things that just have water running over them as well. Which I nearly fell asleep on. Just on nice warm stone, looking at the stars. Fun night. It was 1,200 yen. Because it was a Saturday. It was also, I think it's peak period now. So it's just 1,200 anyway. Weekday isn't off peak. It's 1,000. Monkey Park for the show as well was 1,000. I think it's, is it, I think it was 500 without the show, but I figured I'd experience that too. I used to cross everything off on my list. Probably didn't need to buy so many sandwiches before I'd left, though. Also bought a little charm and a fortune at one of the shrines. So I think all up I spent, uh, including the train to get there and back, about 5,500 yen, including the snacks that I bought, that I didn't need to. Oh, I also fed the monkeys, and got a little, like one of those flat coin things there as well, which was another 200 total, which was cool. Ah, oh, also 300 for the 
photo with the monkey. So let's just say 6,000 yen. But there's plenty of stalls and stuff on the way up there at some of the temples and stuff, so... I don't know, maybe take 10,000? If you really want to do that stuff too. Anyway. I'd say that's a pretty good first outdoors video. I think next week I'll just go to the sky tree. Hopefully I won't fall and hit my knee there. I'll, I'll see everyone next time.